Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. <laughs> if you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and this series is where I document my weight loss journey in a monthly vlog type format showing you the ins and outs, the ups and downs, the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal journey to lose weight. Before we get into this video, I would ask that you would subscribe to your favorite girl on the internet and leave this video a thumbs up if you like the fact that I'm sharing my journey with you on losing weight. And also say hi in the comments down below. I'll say hi back, I promise. All right, let's get into the November recap. I can't believe it's almost the end of the year. This is crazy. Hi, beautiful people. So we're starting the month off um with a grocery haul so i decided to buy for the next two weeks just because it would be easier and i'm trying to be better with my budget so i bought some chicken from trader joe's also all my food that i buy in terms of groceries is from trader joe's and the chicken costs like 306 i bought three of them one cost 306 one cost 310 and the other 302 I got the bacon that I always get, which costs $4.99, which I didn't realize how expensive it was until I looked at the price today. And then I got some eggs for $1.29, this green juice for $5.99, three green bean bags for $1.99, the spread for $2.99, and then I bought four large avocados. I decided I think I talked about this in last month's video of just not doing the whole plastic thing. So I have, I've been having these bags and I was like, Hey, I'm just going to buy like non-plastic covered avocados. So I did and they were $1.29 each. And I usually just like, this will last me two days because I'll use one half and then I'll keep the other one that has the pit inside of it or attached to it in the refrigerator and then I will use it the next day and it lasts pretty well when it's like ready to go. So I told you guys over the weekend I did not eat well. I had an entire pint of ice cream. I had Indian food and I had hot Cheetos, I had chips and salsa, I had a, a couple brownies and chips on Halloween night on October 31st and you guys know that I ended the month on 206.2 and then the next like time that I checked in with you guys for November I like went up to 208 well today is Tuesday and I feel like and I talked about this in last month's video intermittent fasting is everything like it's so good because I weighed myself this morning just to see <coughs> excuse me because it's Tuesday morning I went to the gym as you guys saw I didn't go to the gym on Monday because I was very very exhausted and that time change is really like really affecting me I'm so exhausted all the time like this morning I was like I don't want to go I don't want to go mm. but anyways weighed myself this morning and like yesterday was the day that I did like intermittent fasting, all that stuff. I weigh 206.2. I'm literally back to the exact weight that I was after a weekend of not eating great. And that was because yesterday, Monday, I ate at 8 a.m., 12, noon, and 5 p.m. And currently it is 8.07. Well, it's around 8 o'clock. And I'm eating my breakfast. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had two sweets yesterday. I had a mini Hershey bar with my lunch. And then yesterday I didn't do the best on intermittent fasting because around 3.30, 3.45, no, 345 because I had just gotten out of a meeting. Um, I had a Kit Kat bar because I was like, I need this because I'm falling asleep and I need something to just wake me up so I can at least get home because I'm so tired. But yeah, even with two sweets, even with a pint of ice cream this weekend, even with 
a huge thing of Indian food. Hot Cheetos. Sweets. I was still... I still bounce back really quickly. So that quote of just like water weight and how you really are not gaining weight or just your body is just taking like it's just holding on to things until it flushes it out. And I also I I drank a lot of water yesterday. I mean, usually during the week I drink a lot of water. So well I'm coming at you guys a lot today. <laughs> First to tell you, like you see, that I work out, that I got back down to 206.2. I had a stressful day. And these are chopsticks, by the way, because I eat my hot Cheetos with chopsticks so that it doesn't get all over my hands. was my dinner. Yeah. I stress ate today, <laughs> which was not good. I should not have done that, but you know what? I did it. It's already done. I also had to get some other stuff from Walmart anyway, so it is what it is. And I'll stand by my de my decision. Oh. But I said I would be honest with you guys. And that's the honesty. Good morning, um, beautiful people. I found out the reason why I didn't really want to go to the gym this week and was craving like a bunch of sweets this week. You guessed it, I started my period. But also I was watching The Great British Bake Off, so that's another reason why I was craving things. Um, but yeah, I only went to the gym once this week, and that was on Tuesday, and then today's Friday, I'm going, and then I'm going to try to go tomorrow on Saturday, so at least I've gone three times this week. But I'm just going to do cardio today, and I'm probably just going to do cardio tomorrow as well, because I did arms the other day, and leg day, I just don't really want to do. Um, and last night for dinner, I had <laughs> a vegan cake with some chicken <laughs> oh my gosh that was my dinner last night it was so good and then I also had like half of a cookie as well so so I like went to a bible study but yeah we'll see how I weigh <laughs> good morning beautiful people I'm currently going to the gym on a Saturday morning which I never really do but I promised because I recorded myself that since I said I was going to do that have to do it I almost didn't like part of this morning I was like oh, I'm just not gonna do it <laughs> I don't want to go to the gym but I'm like committed at least three times a week but commitment is four you know and I've only gone twice so Saturday is making up for the third time so I'm just gonna do cardio again and I might show a little bit of that we'll see how crazy it is at the gym this morning. I hope it's not a lot of people. So came back from the gym, did a quick costume change, you know, and I currently weigh 204.6. So that's very exciting. You girls killing it. Um, but yeah, I would say that intermittent fasting is, is a major key. Can you see? Look at that beautiful sunrise. But anyways, just finished up at the gym. It is cold. It is so cold, it snowed yesterday. But I went and did cardio and that was it. 
Um, I started doing like an hour's worth of cardio. I find that it just works really well for me. And then also like twice a week on top of the hour's worth of cardio, I do like my sets of, hold on. I do like, you know, the body weights of, for like arms and legs. And Good morning, beautiful people. I said I would go to the gym on Saturday and I didn't. <laughs> it is 8.09, I am trying to meet a friend at 8.30. Um, we're going to a spa, gonna do some saunas, um, some soaks. I'm really excited about it. And yeah, so I didn't like wake up early enough um, to like go to the gym, I was just too tired. And yeah, so I'm gonna meet her at 8.30, it's 8.10 now. I'm, hopefully I'm not gonna be late, but I'll probably text her if, as I'm getting closer, if it's like 8.25. Anyways, I don't know why I'm telling you that, but anyways, uh, um, oh, I just like scarfed down a avocado on toast this morning. Oh, that's another thing. I also, um, last night I had Chick-fil-A for dinner. It was real good. It was real good. Um, yeah, that was like my cheat meal of the week. So I'll probably do a weigh-in tomorrow on Sunday. Um, just because I wasn't able to do it today on Saturday. I don't know why Saturdays are like my weigh-ins, but... I'll do it on Sunday to kind of start the week and see how it goes, but I'm feeling good, although I haven't been working out that often, only like two to three times a week, well, yeah, two to three times a week um, these past two weeks. Good morning, beautiful people. It was a beautiful Sunday. Um, just rushing right now because I'm a wee bit late, but anyways, um, I thought I'd give the weight update. I want to say that I'm 30 pounds like locked down total, but I'm not. I'm like 29.2 or whatever. But I really just want to say 30 pounds. <laughs> but I'm 203.8, which is so freaking exciting. Um, I don't know the last time when I did a weight update of like how much I weigh sunglasses off because they are just really dirty they're not clean but um yeah I am really really excited that I'm 203.8 I've lost the weight guys also something that I realize as well is that like although I had to got a red light Although I've lost this amount of weight and I can kind of see it in some of my, I mean, I for sure have seen it in my jeans and in some sweaters and stuff like that. I've noticed it in some of my joggers and my leggings now, like exactly like, oh yeah, I really have lost this amount of weight, but I still don't feel like my body doesn't feel as though it's lost 30 pounds. You know what I mean? I feel like Yes, I've probably gone down a lot of sizes, maybe. I don't really know, because I haven't been shopping, and I won't be shop, excuse me, I won't go shopping until next year, because I promised myself I wouldn't buy any clothing until 2020, because I honestly don't need it, and the clothes fit, and it's winter, and it's okay that things are baggy and layered, because it's cold out here in Denver. Um, but yeah, although today is like a beautiful, sunny, warm day, I mean, 48 degrees, sunny, warm, I'm wearing a jacket and a thick sweater, so that should tell you what that means. But anyways, um, yeah, I, I still don't really feel that small. Like, there are instances when I'm like, oh, I do, but I was talking about it with my best friend yesterday. Like, I was looking at my knees and I was like, yeah, my knees look more defined, my calves, for sure, my shins they look so much smaller but I still don't feel 
that small. Does that make sense? Like, I still feel bigger. I know I'm not taking up as much space anymore, but I still feel like I am. I don't know. It's just very interesting with, like, weight loss. I feel like I'm not going to notice it as much until... I don't even know. And I feel like the reason why I don't realize this it this much is because it has been such a gradual thing. It's not like a drastic weight loss for me. It has been a gradual weight loss. So, and because I'm in my body every day and it's like a small increment type of thing, it doesn't feel like, oh yeah, I've lost 30 pounds. Um, which isn't true because I've lost 29.2. But besides the point, I basically lost 30 pounds. I'm excited to say, which means that this coming week would prove that I've lost 30 pounds, so. Good morning, beautiful people. It is currently six o'clock in the morning. I just finished at the gym. It is Monday. I said I would go to the gym today and I did. Um, I just did 30 minutes on the bike because, you know, sometimes that's all we, that's all we can do. <laughs> And I was like, it's gonna be a cardio day anyway, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and trying to make like more weight days, like arms and then legs. And then Mondays and Wednesdays are just cardio and abs, but didn't even do abs, which is fine. I'm okay with that. So I meal prepped a lot over the weekend, as you guys can see, uh, because I'm eating two pieces of chicken for dinner tonight. Also, I didn't go to the gym this morning because I was editing a video, which was the second vlog of my Alaska um, trip that I took uh, earlier this year, and because I didn't get to bed till late, I only got like five hours of sleep, and I was like, I'm not going to go to the gym on five hours of sleep, I'm going to get myself an extra hour, and that's exactly what I did. So I went Monday, didn't go Tuesday, but I'll go tomorrow. Sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is good morning, beautiful people? As you saw, I just worked out, I did arms and abs today, and then I did 40 well, like 35 minutes of cardio on the bike. But I did want to, I feel like I'm very chatty in this month's, you know. Uh, weight loss recap um, but I just I don't know I feel like November has just gone to pot you know like it's just not gone well in terms of me being consistent in the gym I feel like I've definitely lost my motivation to work out and drive and determination and yes I have lost weight which is great but I and I know for me, like, losing weight more so comes from the food that I eat more than, you know, the gym. It does add when I go to the gym. I definitely do lose more if I'm consistent with the gym and food. But I can still lose weight with just eating healthy. But I like going to the gym because I like, you know, I mean, right now I'm not liking going to the gym. But I like going to the gym because I like the feeling of sweating. I like the feeling that I'm getting stronger. Um, things are getting easier to do, but because I'm doing the same thing, um, all the time, I'm doing like high reps and low weight. That is, you know, what I'm doing so that I can lean out, um, because I gain muscle very easily. Okay, my water bottle just went on the floor. You okay there but yeah I gained muscle like very easily so for me I was like okay I'm not gonna do crazy weights because um oh, I want to park I'm trying to reverse I I don't want to like gain that muscle over fat because that's what I was doing for years when I was trying to lose weight before and now that I finally got it like okay low reps is where I'm at and I don't want to do high reps until I've lost more weight <laughs> you know I'm not exactly where I want to be granted it is kind of crazy to think that I've 
basically lost 30 pounds and um, how much smaller than I am and how well I'm fitting into my clothes and uh, all that fun stuff. It is really cool to see and um, it's very exciting, but yeah, I just feel like this month I've definitely lost my mojo and I want to get it back um, for the rest of this month. I want to finish the month really strong and do really well. Um, I definitely want to be out of the 200s. I want to get into the 190s. I mean, I want to be at my goal weight, like, which is 170, 160. And then reevaluate from there on, like, aesthetics of, um, like, you know, type of buck back muscles that I want and, you know, abs if I want them and all other stuff. Like, I would have to work really hard for that. And so that's just, like, the next phase of this fitness journey. So this is something that's gonna always be I hope you guys know that like I'll always show fitness stuff because I want this to be a lifelong journey I just I feel like this month has been kind of crap um, in terms of my engagement in the gym with you guys and yeah I feel like last month was probably better and this month is just I haven't been motivated um, I know why because I had started my period and also the t like the time change with it getting darker outside earlier and later it's just like it really affects my mood um, a lot like when people say winter depression I I really feel it because my my roommates my friends notice as soon as it starts becoming summer I get a lot happier and I notice it in myself so I just know that I I don't function that well when I don't have a lot of sunlight and when I do have a lot of when I do have a lot of sunlight I function a lot better and I feel like that's also affecting my will and ability to go to the gym so um, I'm gonna try to work on that I'm gonna try to be better about that and just you know push myself to go and um, set out clothes in bef the night before so that I literally just wake up and get ready instead of dilly-dallying like I've been doing in the morning and going to the gym late so yeah So this is probably a good time to let everybody know. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me at Jasmine Rosette. It's the same handle that I use for my YouTube. Um, but I fell this morning after getting home from the gym and I hurt my foot and my leg is pretty tender right now. Um, the swelling has gone down, like I'm fine now, nothing's broken. We're good. Um, I'm not in as much pain because I've been icing it and keeping it elevated and all that fun stuff. But last night um, after work, it had like rained and then it was supposed to snow. So the temperatures were dropping, meaning that the roads were going to be icy. But when I left to the gym, like my car was frozen, but that like the ground wasn't icy. But when I came back, like when I got out the gym, like my car had frozen over again and I was like, oh, okay. And the ground that I was walking on at the gym wasn't icy. When I got home and I parked, I stepped, like, yeah. Yeah, I stepped on a manhole, slipped, and my foot, my other foot went under the drain and that was the foot that like got hurt and scratched up and all other stuff. And it was like six o'clock in the morning and 6 15 in the morning we're like so yeah I hurt my foot so I'm not going to the gym tomorrow on Friday um I can walk on it but I can't put shoes on because it hurts I can only put Birkenstocks on but I have to adjust the straps so that they're really loose um but yeah got my little got my little brace on here with some bandages but yeah <laughs> that's a little swollen but it's okay but that's my update so <sighs> not exciting 
but it happened. But at least, I mean, I did leg day. I was really successful in leg day. I finally feel like leg day went how I wanted it to go instead of slow. So that was great. But yeah, getting out the car, like my legs were a little shaky, but the ground didn't feel wet on the road, but on those stairs though. It was so icy. Ugh. So now I'm thinking I really need to go to the gym in boots because my sneakers have no traction whatsoever, which is unfortunate. <laughs> as you guys saw but I thought I would let you guys know my weight loss update currently weigh 206 even um, which means that I ate unhealthy this entire weekend it wasn't just like one meal I also had um, things throughout the week that I wasn't eating healthy as well and I just forgot to document it even though I said I would be better about documenting it and I didn't so I gained that weight and I'm no longer 203.8 like I was. Today is the 25th of November and I just got to Texas and I really wanted to try the Popeye's chicken sandwich. So I have Popeye's right here. I am trying the spicy chicken sandwich. Um, that's really good. I, I like the spicy chicken sandwich. I would say it's better than Chick-fil-A, but it's significantly saltier. And I hate when things are over salted. I do not like it. But the thing is, although I can taste the salt, I can also taste the other spices coming through. The other flavors. It's definitely more flavorful. The salt one is just a little bit too much, but... That's good. And you get quite a bit of chicken. So currently heading to the gym with grandma, except we're going to two different gyms. <laughs> we can't go to the same one. I go to Planet Fitness. She goes to Gold's gym because she's so fancy. Um, but yeah, it's currently 537 quick update didn't go to the gym because planet fitness was like we will charge you five dollars each time that you come to the gym this week as a franchise fee because this is not your home gym and because you don't have the black card membership you How have the white the black card membership? it's twenty dollars for the black card membership a month a month whereas the white card membership is ten dollars a month and all i'm doing is using the equipment because like the twenty dollars is mainly for like you get it discounted or whatever on the massage beds and the tanning beds and I don't tan and I don't do massages on those type of beds um, and I yeah so and then you also get like 50% off on the drinks and snacks that they serve there which honestly like is not worth it to me no, what's not. worth it is paying $10 a month for the equipment and that's it and I can go multiple times because it's cheap, it's very affordable, which is within my budget. And they're like, we need to charge you $5. And if I go four times this week, that that's means, yeah, that's 20 bucks. So I think what I'll do instead, we're going to run some errands right now. But I think when I get home, I'll just do like an at-home workout of like some squats and burpees and push-ups or something. I've had some weights, but I think they're about 20 pounds. Yeah. If they're 20 pound weights, that's perfect. I think it's 20. I don't know. Yeah. So, that's what I use. I'm just going to do an at home workout instead because I'm not paying that much money. And then, if I were to go to Gold's Gym as a guest of hers, they would charge $15 per time that I would attend as a guest. And although Gold's Gym, I feel like, would be worth it in terms of all the things that you have access to I personally do not want to spend $15 each time because that's it's not worth it right now financially for me to do that because it's just 
throwing away money when I'm literally just gonna use a few machines and stuff like that. I'm just like, no. I just want to be real and honest. I'm having another glass of wine with chocolate pecan pie, hummus, with some fresh pita bread for dinner. And I had a bite of my grandma's Mediterranean sandwich. It was really good. From this place called Jerusalem King, I think is the restaurant. And this wine is like five bucks from H-E-B. It's one of the best wines ever. It's not super sweet. It's more fruity than anything, but yeah, it's my uh, dinner. On my second helping tonight, just have the roll, potato salad, cranberry sauce, chocolate pecan pie, mac and cheese, rice and peas. It's really good. Well, it is currently 8.51. We're gonna do Black Friday shopping because she wants stuff. And I am eating a small slice of chocolate pecan pie for breakfast. So, you guys saw how November went. I got down to 203.8 and then and then Thanksgiving happened and I weighed myself at the end of November which I forgot to show but I got up to 207 so I gained about 3.2 pounds which I'm not upset about um, I decided I wasn't going to watch my carb intake I was going to eat in moderation I wasn't going to overeat I was simply just going to eat and eat until I was full, until I felt full, and kind of go from there. And it was a really good break. I had wine almost every single day, as you guys saw. I had a lot of carbs, as you guys saw as well, over the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, and yeah, it was really, really good to kind of spend time with family and friends um, and people that I grew up with and see them and hang out with them and also eat really good food so i'm not upset the fact that i gained you know three pounds essentially but i did get down to 203.8 but then i gained it back um by just simply enjoying my life and eating really well over the thanksgiving holiday so yeah i'm not upset about it but i think this is something that i'm gonna you know kind of continue on into december I feel like December is going to be a month where I am not so focused on, you know, getting down in scale. I'm just going to kind of focus on eating as healthy as I possibly can, understanding that there's a lot of holiday, you know, parties coming up because it is the Christmas season and also going into New Year's. And so I'm just going to focus on as much as I can maintaining, going to the gym as much as I can, trying to make healthy decisions when I can and when I have the occasional sweet treat or you know extra carbs I'm not going to deny myself those I'm gonna eat and indulge <laughs> in those and um, enjoy them so that is kind of gonna be my plan for the rest of the year and then I think you know 2020 will have some We'll have some different plans. I'm thinking of doing a video where I kind of do a roundup again, like I did last year um, where I started this journey um, of just doing a roundup of how 2019 went with my weight loss journey and um, also kind of sharing in another video like what I thought, <laughs> like the thoughts that I had in terms of what I've learned essentially. Um, in my weight loss journey so far. So I think that's gonna come up soon as well after I do the December recap. I'll start that off with the new year. Um, and yeah, and expect to see more content from your girl. 
but if you made it to the end of this video thank you thank you so much for making it to the end of the video um if you've made it this far i would ask that you leave a emoji let the secret emoji be a let's make it the robot let's have the secret emoji be the robot so if you've made it this far in the video leave the robot emoji down below in the comments to let me know that you've made it this far in the video i would highly highly appreciate that and if you are not subscribed already please do subscribe i mean you're watching the video you're already here you might as well subscribe be a part of this community join your favorite girl on the internet and stay up to date with her that's me by the way and yeah and give this video a thumbs up if you liked any part of this video if you like the format that i'm doing also leave a comment if you have suggestions for what you would like to see from me in the future um, any video ideas that you have for me would love to hear them so yeah don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i will see you in december's weight loss recap bye guys